Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The company is Home Improvement Doctor Limited. We're part of the DIY Doctor Group. And for our sins, every now and again, we get sent tools and products to uh, provide uh, reviews on them, video reviews on them for both the manufacturer um, and of course the consumer. So they're independent reviews and we tell you exactly what we think of the bits and pieces we've been sent. Um, and in this particular example, we've been sent the DeWalt DC100 cordless combination drill. Um, and this particular drill is available from Screwfix, um, pretty much as with most things from Screwfix to on next day delivery. Um, and we've had a little look at it and uh, yeah, on, on first glance and first use, it is a typical DeWalt power tool. Very strong, reliable, robust. Um, and one of the things that we like about DeWalt stuff is quite simply the carrying case that, um, that it all comes in. Um, it's very strong, it's not flexible plastic, it's very rigid, very strong with the most important thing, very strong catches. Um, for those of us that, are, that have been in the trade for any length of time, we will have all have experienced picking up a, a power tool or, or a, a trade case of screws or something, the catch is slipping and the whole lot going all over the floor. Now that's really an expensive operation one way or another. So DeWalt cases come um, without question, uh, recommended by DIY Doctor. The various tools that come inside them um, vary in suitability. Um, but but mostly we, we you know we like we like Dewalt stuff. But but this particular drill is a bit lighter than the normal Dewalt 18 volt stuff. Um, it, it comes with a couple of very strong 18 volt batteries, um, an hour recharge, which is great, um, and a spare battery is always good for 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 work. The charging system, as with all Dewalt chargers, as simple as it gets drop it in, plug it in, drop the, drop the um, battery in and you're good to go, um, ob obviously after an hour's charging. But the drill itself, um, a couple of features, the first one being, I don't know whether the camera can pick this up, but as I squeeze the trigger you'll see the light coming on. Um, it's a variable speed trigger, which gives you a lot of control over the, uh, especially in timber or when you're using the screwdriver um, setting it gives you a lot more control over the things that you're doing so we like that um, there's a little clip at the front for clipping in um, screw bits or whatever so they're always to hand so little features like that DeWalt have thought of for, for the user um, it's a keyless chuck very simple to operate simply hold hold the chuck while you put it into reverse and the chuck will open and of course similarly to tighten put the drill bit in or whatever it is you're using, hold the chuck and squeeze tight. Um, there are 17 torque settings on this particular drill. Um, as you can see, I'll click around them. Hopefully the cameraman can see me going around. Um, and the torque for uh, those of you who don't know what the torque is, it's simply a clutch system really. So that um, if you put the, if you're asking the drill too much to do too much work and it feels it's in danger of burning out, um, the clutch will slip and disengage itself from the motor. So I've got it on torque setting, the lightest setting number one. And if I hold it, you can hear the clutch. So that's not engaging the motor, that's just slipping to, to say, you're asking this to do too much. Um, there it is normally, and if I grab that chuck, you can hear the, the torque setting in. Obviously when we go up to um, number 17, I'm not gonna to attempt to, to grab that because that'll just burn my hand, um, but it's a, it's a much more powerful torque setting. We then move on to, hopefully the camera can see that, the drill setting. Um, or this, in this particular case, you could use it as a screwdriver setting. It's not a great idea unless you're experienced to use an 18 volt combination drill as a screwdriver because it's very, very powerful indeed. And if you squeeze the trigger too hard, you could slip across a work surface or something and ruin the work. Um, but that's the drill setting for, for normal wood bits and drills. And then of course, the final one is the hammer setting, which is what we're gonna use first to put this seven millimeter masonry bit into the wall behind me um, without a lot of pressure, just to see how powerful this is. So uh, let, let's do that. Before, before I actually drill the hole, I need to show you that 
there is uh, there are two gears on this particular drill it's in second gear at the moment I'll slide it up to the slower gear which is number one and if you are going to use the combination drill as a screwdriver it's number one really that you need it on it slows everything down gives you even more control and is, is much safer for those of you that aren't used to it for, for putting in screws. But back on to number two for drilling. doesn't matter where we drill the hole, I'll use my left hand, which is my weaker hand, um, and I'll put that straight onto the concrete block wall. As you can see, probably by the brick dust on the end of the bit, that's gone in about an inch and a half or 25, 30, 35 to 40 millimeters with absolutely no effort at all. Very powerful drill indeed. Um, that of course is on the hammer setting. So to remove the masonry bit, I'm gonna put it in reverse. It has a forward and a reverse. I'm gonna grab the chuck and that's it. We can release the, the drill bit. And somewhere down here, I have, let's put that on the box for a moment and bring this other stuff with me. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a screw without a pilot hole into this piece of wood. So I'll put the uh, screwdriver bit into the chuck. We'll squeeze that nice and tight. I'll put it onto the drill setting, as you can see there. And then we'll get the screw and push it into the, the timber. So that's no pilot hole, no effort, all the way, all the way in. Um, very powerful indeed. Um, and finally, put it into reverse, get the screwdriver bit out of it, and we'll put a nice flat, um, a 25 millimeter flat wood bit. <laughs> if I can get it, um, get it square in the, in the chuck and I've just noticed that the drill bit itself is made by DeWalt as well and we'll show you without a lot of pressure just how easily that goes through so a very powerful tool for home improver use or, or site use certainly we wouldn't be uh, unhappy about using this drill um, and this will be going into our tool bag um, for just that purpose. One thing that I thought we should insert into our videos on cordless power tools is the simple idea that when you've finished using it and you're about to put it back in its box, unclip the battery, which with the DeWalt um, DC100 is very, very simple indeed, just unclip the battery and put those in the box as separate items because what can happen when you put power tools or cordless tools back in the box if you don't put it in right sometimes the trigger can be squeezed accidentally while it's in the box it goes unnoticed and the next time you take it out the battery is as flat as a pancake so that's the DeWalt, DeWalt DC100 an excellent drill combination drill available from Screwfix with next day delivery uh, DIY doctor likes it